Hello and welcome back. Welcome back. It's it's cut cut buds with this is this is the new session one where we are all like, what were we doing again? This is a this is the filler beach episode. Yeah. We're gonna go to the beach, and that's when we like run out to the salt desert, and we just keep running, hoping to find the water, but it never comes. So where is this legendary horned chameleon? That's a good idea. Let's go get some rep. I was gonna suggest we do some baroque ruin diving because that was working out for us pretty well. Yeah, we could do that too. Uh... In fact, it worked out so instantly well for us that I think we abandoned it immediately to sell all of our goods. Yeah, I mean that's our inventory was pretty full, so how full we is it gonna... now? It's still very full. Oh, jeez. Um, item management episode. It could be. Uh, do 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 do. Right. We, <laughs> we Why can't I find this? It was near the top. I think you immediately passed it. We visited all those. A glowfish, feral dog, sparm, mad pole. There uh, it is. Yeah. Why they, oh, you want more unshelled reptile rep. What was that? You want more unshelled reptile rep. Reputation. Uh, I mean, it, it would be nice, but if you were wondering why we're doing this, because it was a side quest for Major. Oh, okay, yeah. That's a good idea. Honestly, we should um, we should do some more village quests. Oh, we found the Allele region. They're like Let's just the, scout it real quick. They're like the late game uh, handing in books. Yeah, true, true. We've uh, we've inadvertently uh, convinced a few people of the uh, book meta. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Um, I I like didn't realize you hadn't handed in all your books, and when you oh no, we books, just handed that one time we went back and handed in books. We just didn't put them in the chest. Like that was just what we had in our inventory that leveled us two levels. Right. I hadn't. I didn't realize that. I was like, oh, you only leveled up two levels. That's not a lot. And then you handed in the chest, and it was like three levels up to level forty. Yeah. That was uh, absurdly good. That's just amazing. One day I will find a legendary frog, and I will get them to teach me to jump, and I will. I think the Sfardim can teach it to you now too. Ah. Uh... So it's a little easier than that, it used to be. That nerfed that achievement for a lot of people. <laughs> uh, that's that's the way the uh, cookie crumbles. There's a... I mean, this is such a it doesn't matter side tangent, but it, it is something that I've thought of is there's such a beautiful round number of achievements for Caves of Code, but I can't imagine that that's it. So I, I wonder uh, how how is that going to be topped? Like another hundred i don't or, know uh, we go we go like 50 probably and... go at 50s yeah <clears throat> if we ever add more we gotta add a lot yeah there's definitely more stuff to do um having three floating nearby slots seems like a good one um be being loved by highly entropic beings is just a kind of like a random one but i kind of love that mm-hmm I know you could do like anything, but I think uh, highly entropic. For some reason, there's something um, special about them. In like, I, I don't know if I'm like off on that, but they seem uh, they seem important in a in a strange way. Because they're entropic. They're entropic. I well. So like we uh, we were talking off camera with uh, our GM about entropy and now I'm, I'm like thinking a lot about what that means in in turn in Cud's universe well and I gotta say in Cud's universe the word entropy is probably more physics related than the entropy we were talking about in the other universe right um so like you know, I get the impression from an in-cud universe that highly entropic beings are basically always inadvertently watching you. And I mean, I think if something was highly entropic, it's not that they're watching you specifically, it's that they're watching everything at yeah. all times. Um, and that's why, just spitballing, why when you use... Um, it's a, uh, shoot, I can't remember the name of the, the mutation that lets you see into the future. Precognition, precognition to not wear the amarine theme prism that you can disappoint newly entropic beings because they are still watching that universe. Yeah. They're still seeing that. So we got our thing for Mazor. Nice. It's a Mazor recoiler. Or is that a reprogrammed one? Yeah, that's a reprogrammed This was reprogrammed one. so that we could go turn it in. Yeah. 
I have found the corpse. Sniffles and sneezes? Yo, talk to that tortoise again when you're when you're done with this, obviously. Schrodinger page. Mapengo chapter. Heck yeah. Yeah. That is a Flissa, not a Chris. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a Flissa and a sleep gas grenade mark two that would have let us get rid of Clank. Yeah. Uh, that's really funny. I don't think we care that much about a uh, Mapango chapter. We'll just entangle it. Yay. Yay. Well, I mean, um, we can still have the Mapango take the slint if we get a high, high enough reputation with them. Yeah, sniffles and sneezes. I love that so much. There's something really cute about a tortoise sneezing. Achu. Achu. Is that is that their name? No. Eh. Um. But there is a warden bolt Malozzi. And it's a. Uh, it looks like a holographic uh, ivory. What are they? They are some sort of ivory. Yeah. Painted maybe. Well, the wardens get recolored blue. Oh right right right. All right, so we turned in that quest. Did they? Uh, did you? Did we trade in? Like, ask them for some secrets, so maybe we could find out about other villages. Because I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? Villagers, villages will know of other villages. Or is it just that when we do a quest for them, we they often send you to another village? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I kind of want to go check out um, Ezra. Yeah, I kind of want to go check out uh, Ezra to see. Well. I'm realizing that we had this quest to visit the Mopango settlement that never got turned in. Yeah, I don't think so we I was can thinking turn about... it in. I think it's yeah. actually kiboshed permanently because I, I am... The turret died? The turret died, yeah. Yeah, let's go double check that, though. We might have just not hit the right option to talk to the turret. I was not expecting to go to the tomb in this episode. Well, we're just doing a quick revisit. We know where we're going. Pretty sure that ash... <laughs> yeah, the turret's dead. A dang shame. They're a good turret. They, they, I, I like that turret. Yeah. So, that quest is dead. We didn't travel to the historical site of Shapar. Yeah, Shapar is in, like, deep in the... Moonstair. Yeah. I assume that other one is as well. The uh, glass blowers business. Probably. Everything's drained. Well, that's because we've been teleporting around a lot. We need, we need more cells. I will just recharge some. Said, said the warden to the uh, prison manager. Mindful boots. Oh, hey. Nice. Mm. Oh, God. What? Well, I mean, can uh, can the golem technically use that? Mm, no, because it's not gigantic. You know, I feel like... <laughs> uh, I know there's a... Uh, quite a few RPG systems have, um, like, traits and feats you can get that will let someone wield a two-handed sword with one hand yeah we have that too we have that too okay giant hands giant yeah hands. i uh, i i love that from an aesthetic perspective like that that to me is like you've, yeah. ju you've just become conan basically or uh guts i suppose although never mind their sword is more like a three-handed caves of cud all right let's check the tilly farm starting <laughs> in the lower left lower right i don't know if this is re uh Oh, well, think, it must well, have, because it has a rough agate. Yeah, we would have bought that. We would have bought that. We would have bought and tumbled that weird artifact. Yeah. I actually really like the siphon baton, and one day I would like to use it with a character. There's so many weapons I end up not using, because just a base weapon is good enough, and you can yeah. mod it to be anything you need it to be. Kaleidocera muffs. Oh, those are what you get from the, um, the slugs. Oh, those yeah. are really nice. But we have they really are. nice gloves. Yeah. Our gloves are plus a bunch of strength and agility. I think it's, yeah, I think it's plus four strength, plus one agility. These could be modded to be even nicer, though. Mm. One to thing to think about, right? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, well, we can give it plus one strength. I don't, or sorry, plus one agility. I don't know what, what else we could give it. Oh, wait, hold on. Was there anything like that I actually wanted? I don't think there was. No, we'll come back to that, Tilly. The problem uh, with, um having items that give you strength as you get used to that uh item capacity is really good this is true so i uh, all of my characters end up having the nano the, the that's a really expensive artifact um the body vest i always end up having the body vest because it's i get used to that carrying capacity oh yes oh and the concentrated so gallbeard beard glamp paste finally yeah right heck yeah is that's... that our whole set we pick it up just to complete the set yeah 
Yeah, right. But also, this episode, we could have gotten the Sleep Gas Grenade Mark II and the Gullbeard. All we need is the Gaslight Chris, and we would have... Uh, yeah. It's perfect. Check every box. Was that all of them already? Yep. Wow. We might want to upgrade... I say upgrade, but like kind of um, semi-upgrade our recipes to use horse shrooms instead of pickled mushrooms, since we always seem to be short on pickled mushrooms. Oh, you mean try to get the same trigger using only horse room? Yeah. Yeah. As long as we're inspired with not really anything to do with inspired. I think we also had things that we didn't know what it was. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Which which Tilly it was? <clears throat> which Tilly had that? I think it was this one. It wasn't the anti-grab boots. Um, Could have been the Spazer rifle, but I think we know that. Well, I think the important thing is it's nothing that we care about because no, no, yeah. no, nothing here it seems very important. No, we still got a couple of vendors to check here while we're here. Well, did you want to buy the Kaleidocera muffs? Eh, I mean, we could. Seems I'm going like... to think about that for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Pantaceps. Pantaceps. Uh, I mean, do we buy the cans? Like, do we even... Uh, no. Yeah, I think we got... So many cans, we'll never cook them all. Yeah, and also, like, it's a nice gimmick, but I don't know how helpful it is. I guess... Uh, I mean, you can kill yourself with it. It's yeah. perfect. I um, say, it's a nice gimmick. So, yeah, I think that last... Oops. I really thought I was in look mode there, but I guess I wasn't. This is interesting. What is this? Oh, that's, a, that's lava walls. Yeah. Those are, like, Tomb of the Eater walls. Wait, is this a village? That was a that was like an outskirts, wasn't it? Yeah. The outskirts of Shiva. Oh right, okay, yeah, I thought I recognized. Right, and this is the uh, village that likes to farm lava. Are those lava tubes? I didn't even know that was a thing. Yo, those Vanta are really um, proliferate. Is this the town of Vanta and lava or something? It's the town of uh, deep slumbers and lava. Oh, did oh, we it's... just step in lava? It's this one. I think we've already been to that town. Yeah. Um, I thought I was in look mode, so yeah. Tavisor is in the wood. Is in the moon stair up there. Yeah, I guess we do. I was planning on hitting it as we were heading to, to the tree stair. or to Chava. Yeah. Is there anything of that big crystal in the north end, or is that just flavor? Uh, I think it's just flavor. So hold on. We got lost again. Um. Oh, we already did the quest for these guys, I think, too. Yeah, we did. Yeah. They wanted us to travel to a place in the moon stair. Yeah. So mm. it would be the, the... east nine tiles, or mm. northeast nine tiles, and then north. Yeah. I mean, I say we just uh, start exploring. Yeah. There's not really any good way of doing this um, in a, like a, I don't know. There's no method. There's no method here because we don't know where the village is in that parasang. Oh. So it's fun. We do all we know. And of course, like I say, northeast nine tiles, but like, you know, there's going to be stuff in our way. We're not going to be able to go northeast. And also, you can't really travel northeast on a tile very nicely. It does take a lot of annoying uh, zigzaggery to get what? to the northeast corner. Honestly, if we wanted to be more methodical, it would take more time, but we might want to go east uh, nine and then north nine. Sure. We would explore more of the region, too, if we did it that way. The Chava is, is Chava It's making just... me wish I had the Underdark mod enabled so that I could use the cave positioning system here. Oh, that's interesting. I love the idea of, like, traveling underground to avoid the stair. You is that can't... a clam? Is that a clam? I love the music here a lot. Yeah, no. I saw something over here too. Yeah, zero jump. Which we're friends with, so that's one. You want me to keep track? I've got my nerd book here. Well, I think this is actually the third step in that direction. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Because we started at the jungle tile, right? We were counting from the jungle tile, I think. Uh, yeah. So I, I went northeast one. This is the third. This I would actually... be the center of the first moonster tile. Okay. I still haven't seen whatever bad thing happens when Yeah, we've been we've been pretty lucky. This is when we're totally friends with everything in the moon stair, this uh is a lot less uh scary. 
The only thing we really have to worry about are those stupid star shells. Yeah. And, and it's like, we only wor worry about them because we're annoyed by them. What happens if you talk to a green dream Krungle? I don't think they... Yeah. Do they have anything? No. No. Nah. Are they a plant? Uh, what am I looking for? You're looking for a reprogrammable recoiler? Yeah, we can reprogram Mazor. We turned in their quest. Yep. This thing is still very... Oh, we never uh, did the Bethesda Sousa Betals. Ah, yeah, we can still go back and turn that in. We just need to get some fitted with filters faces. Yep. I wish you could mod decapitated faces. You could go. <laughs> what with with filters? Yeah. That is truly morbid. That is that is some like human centipede shit right there. I mean, I, I'm cool with it. It's that, fine. That's that is just like that is in my head now. I can't unthink that one. Little gas mask built into the human face. Yeah, that's some Mad Max shit. I. I yeah. Good God. Posthumanism. <laughs> Face of Mamon Soul Drinker fitted with filters. It would be cool. Uh, I think there is a mod that allows you to tinker some things that you normally can't. That's pretty fun. I've always thought that it would be kind of fun if you could, like, tinker your horns mm. somehow. Right? Like, or, like, you know, there'd be some fun stuff you could do. It, I understand why we don't allow it. It doesn't make much sense, but, you know. Well, um... Alright, here we go. There's not a lot oh, of... Oh, please. Please. <laughs> Damn, it didn't get any qualities. City, state, hair. City, state, oh, we hair. Got, we gotta keep the uh, Zeta Chrome. My mouse was at the top, so... Because they were Zeta Chrome pumps. Yeah. Uh, Va Vanta Blooms. Is this gonna be another Vanta Bloom... Town? Moon are we stare? on the outskirts? No, right. we're on the, uh... Slimy Miser Dune. This is a uh, Sultan Dungeon. Oh. This is going to be another book. Well, it would yeah. make sense that. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, you just got a uh, bloated frog. That's fine. Yeah, I think it's a tongue turret at Tyrant, actually. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. Those can suck. Where's the Vanta? There it is. And here it is. And there it is. And there it is. <laughs> I feel like right, that's going to get see some things. patched out. You can no longer see Vanta on the... I brought it up and everyone kind of laughed at it at the meeting, I think. They were like, lol, nice. <laughs> uh, disassemble. Oh, we don't want a powered exoskeleton. Oh, what I was going to say... And it's um, just too heavy. Is that an highly entropic? Yeah, it's a monad. Monad. Um, which apparently is hostile to us. Oh, but they're hmm. injured. What happens when you? Yeah, I don't know what they do in. Uh, I don't know what they do in uh, melee. I but... have a horrible feeling. I well. What's okay. That? I mean, go ahead. I I want to see what happens. Okay. Apparently nothing. Just some X XP. I like don't don't ask me why I came to this assumption, but I would assume that when they die, they would have a neutron flux explosion. But so you're um, friendly with that one. The reason I might have thought that, but we're not. You're not uh, friendly to the one you just walked away from. Um, I, I know it used to be that you had to. Um, before highly entropic beings were actually in the game, you would have to trade a dram of neutron flux with them in order to, uh, like, perform the water ritual. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I always assume that 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 like that's their blood, basically, in a form, or like what gives them life essence. I don't think that's true. They just like it. They just like it. Maybe because it's uh, neutron flux is so chaotic, it's so unstable. I don't know where the. It's telling me there's only darkness left to explore, but... Oop. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a monad. <laughs> Where is this one? Uh, it's gonna be to your northeast. Up. Oh, never mind. It's not there. I don't know. Whatever. Do we have the staircase? I honestly think that this is like, gotta be one of the best things about your run, is like... Absurdly easy historic sites. 
We've, yeah, we've gotten kind of lucky with that, though. We did have a rocket turret historic site. Okay, that's if fair. You yeah, that that did, does offset some of the luck, but I don't think it offsets the luck of a Vanta Plume historic site in the Moon Stair. Like, good lord, that's also the uh, Naftali. I mean, it's a really high tier enemy. It is, but and apparently it, it adds a lot of risk if you want to be honest about it right like stepping into complete darkness is kind of scary in this game but apparently this sultan was an asshole because they didn't have any other friends <laughs> yeah they just they just made friends with the darkness yeah what a... <laughs> and tongue tyrants and tongue tyrants they were they were the um, sultan equivalent of an emo <laughs> uh, let's set a checkpoint Oh, I was going to say, a couple times I've tried to say this, is not really a lot in terms of, like, bioengineering in CUD. No. Like, there's... It's, it's, like, specifically not, right, I think? Oh, yeah? Like, it's it's not something that anyone wants... To, like, you, the, the team, like, wants to almost avoid it in some ways? Um... Oh, hey, look. There we go. Perfect. Got that one first try. Apple horseshoe pastry. Yummy. I'd eat a mushroom pastry. Uh um it's just like not done yet like i don't know that we are like it's like the balance right like it's kind of like why there's like the true kin versus mutant idea right like right. it's just like two different flavor you kind of you can get a little mutant tea as a true kin and with the right mods you can get a little true kinny with a mutant but like for the most part your base electrical resist <laughs> um more rocket turrets. That rocket turret has been tongue tyranted. It's a chain laser, actually. It is? No, the yeah. one below you is. The oh, one it, in the yeah, tongue tyrant uh, is. <laughs> we'll let those guys fight those two while I clear up these. Amazing. How, did, how are the turrets doing over here? The laser right. killed the tongue tyrant. The tongue tyrant killed the rocket turret. The rocket turret died did nothing really killed no one yeah no i i get that um as much as every idea is cool and would you know fit the universe of cud it doesn't necessarily fit the balance of cud uh and i do appreciate the divide between like mutants and true can you can't like you have to give up some kind of like major mechanical uh you know thing when you take one or the other i almost wonder if there's room for a third what would that what what would that even look like well also, there's, you know, just you want to ship 1.0 of a thing, right? Like, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I, nothing I say in terms of like uh, speculating mechanics is like, I want this instead of 1.0. It's, uh, yeah. please assume anything I ever say is like everything, it comes with the assumption that everything that the CUD team is doing is amazing, and I don't want anything that I say over what they're already prioritizing. Um, I just like to, I just like to theory craft. Um, it's, it's yeah. one of the things I love about Cud is, uh, just like what would, you know, how what... far out is this episode going to air curiosity? <laughs> We're nearing episode 30. Right. Um, so this is probably around 26, 27. Um, and, uh, episode 10 just went up like yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in about two weeks, <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, it's still in time to say something about the mod jam. Oh, the mod jam. Um, right. I actually kind of want to try. I'm looking up the details right now. There's such a there's. I saw there's a really wonderful um, actual tutorial for learning how to mod yep. code now, and I might I might want to try my hand. I want to want to give it another uh, go. I had the I had it open, but I will find it again. Mod jam. code monster mash. It's in 19 days it starts. So it looks like, yeah, if we, we yeah. should plug this one in. If, the, uh... In fact, almost perfect because... Uh, yeah, it'll be right about a week early. Yeah. So if you're week watching before. this and you want to get into modding CUD, I'm going to put links in the description if I remember, but good lord, asking me to remember that two weeks from now is a huge right. ask. If you want to go to it, Google <laughs> Monster Mash Caves of CUD Mod yeah. Jam, and you should find it. Perfect. Also, um, also, uh, let me see here. Caves of Cud wiki. 
I don't know if there's a link on the wiki. There might be just for no, no, like, no. An advertising for um, modding. Oh, the the modding. Yeah. Tutorial. Yeah, there's a new tutorial that's really good. What's up, Gamma Moth? Ah, here we go. Modding tutorial snap job mages. Yep. I like that the blue Stesifus tutorial is still there. We have a bunch of these operating manuals for the large creature. We're just going to start dropping them. Um, that, that link doesn't actually seem to work on the Caves of Code wiki. For what? For modding tutorial snap job mages. Oh, there oh. you go. It just it just took a long time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the wiki a... the wiki can take a moment to render a page if it hasn't been viewed recently. Um, so if you're interested in modding Caves of Code, uh, please Google uh, snap job mages tutorial. Accidentally fought a gamma moth there. Oh. It was in the darkness. Wow. We already knew about the flame of the six-sided. Yeah. One day we will get that. We'll get that six-sided die. This is a this is a weekend for me. It's just like sitting down and going through this tutorial and trying to figure it out. I don't even know that it would take a weekend. But it's pretty pretty straightforward. I was learning uh, coding in Python for a while just to try and like wrap my head around uh, logic in general or like... Yeah. Um, and I was getting okay at it. I think I could, at, at, like, my... Uh, in another day, this would have been really good to find. Yeah. But now I think it's just a 5-bit that I disassemble. Too heavy. I guess we can start selling herb berries. You really don't need, like, 20 of them. Yeah, this is true. You um, don't ever seem to use them. In fact, I don't think you've ever used one. We haven't needed to. We've, we've <laughs> just had a bunch of salves. Kind of running low on salves, though. Um, that's well, why I say when you get the dreadroot tubers, you gotta make them salves. Uh, gotta make them salves. Phil Brain Brian. Oh, thank god. Wait, you're gonna have to do this Phil 20 times. Brain Brian. Phil Brain Brian. Oh, that's not Phil as bad as I thought. Brain Brian. Phil Brain Brian. See, I mean, it would be better if I hit F D enter. F D enter. And then we metamorphic polygel the the flask of brain brine, right? We could. I don't think we need that much brain brine. No, we definitely don't. I'm just kidding. Ooh, 14 drams of brain brine. Jeez. Louis. The day, uh, one day, someone's going to get the bright idea to add a liquid that gives you permanent willpower. And that is the day that I break cut over my knee. <laughs> you mean permanent ego? Uh, no, permanent willpower, because then you could just wear a amaranthine prism. I mean, Brain Brian gives you permanent willpower. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, shit. It can right, give you it plus does. three it's... willpower, it can give you plus three int. Is it only those two, or is it like plus three I anything? It, I think it's just the mentals. Wow, okay. Yeah, um, that's... So you could just, like, wear the prism and then just, like, chug Brain Brian to keep Yeah, but then centered. you'd have to, like, find a way to... I guess the prism's giving you more ego. Right? Yeah, exactly. But, your brain, Brian, I don't think it's, like, anywhere near the, like, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for here? I can't figure out how to safely reach the stairs. Why not? Because there's darkness? Also, there is a, uh, um, there's a gate here. Oh, yeah. We could, um, imprint a recoiler just to see where that goes. Yeah. Or we can just leave via it. Yeah. On that's... our way out. Well, we don't want to do that because we're on the way to something, right? Oh, yeah, true. Where's the campfire? Well, it says there's a campfire here. All right. It was on the Vantabloom. <laughs> There's only darkness left to explore. Earth was thirsting. The Earth was thirsting. Oh, yeah, we got Ripplers again. This is basically the same population that was in the other. Yeah, all right. Copper Nuggets are gone. Goodbye, Copper Nugs. We've grown past you. I'm surprised you even picked them up, honestly. When I'm carrying nothing, there's still cheap water exchange. Also, because I have the unencumbered mod that, you know, like, when you have that mod that just drop by, val by value weight, like, whenever, like, I don't mind just getting over encumbered and then... I think we've already oh. drawn with these, but yeah. just in case we haven't. Oh, okay. We'll draw a Kessel face. Here, well, I don't um, know if we can get a second Kessel face via this. I just draw, drew a pretty picture. Here's my here's my meta for uh, water. Oh, these are fun. Spring turret grenades. They're yeah, those fun. are really good. It was three pounds each? Yeah. I kind of just want to disassemble it because it's three pounds. 
We're gonna go for but it. They're pretty fun. Oh, we keep that. Yeah. Here's my here's my meta for uh, item and water management. When you're like in the late game and you don't care about uh, you you have too much water base. Yeah. Only have one water skin. That's yeah. for drinking. Well, and then you just sell at a loss every time. Yeah, you can do that. But then you're just you're like being braggadocious at that point, right? Like I you're mean, just walking around like I got so much water, you could just just pour it on the ground. I don't care. Keep the change, buddy. We're getting asked about all of our books. Also, it just it just struck me that the reason that a lot of the merchants in the world are plants is because they would want water the most, probably. <laughs> this is a good one. Man, uh, is that really? It's 30 like, pounds, really... but it's 2,000 drams. Yeah, I was going to say, are we really down to that? <laughs> uh, hey, here's an idea. You're going to hate this. Why don't we just make a bunch of spheres of negative weight? Uh, cause then anytime we get normality, we have a really big problem. Do you foresee getting a normality in this historic site? Uh, the last one had a bunch of, uh, thingamabobbers. I say we just, uh, reprogram our recoiler, uh, this one. All right. Uh, imprint Moonstar recoiler, yeah. Yeah. This is the right one? Yeah. And then we, uh, six... I uh, I really think that we can be we can chrome ourselves and the golem. Probably. I Let's give it a shot. Full face. I've been right? waiting to get the golem to to try it. Right. Yeah. Uh, delete to accept. He's a uh, forty thousand. That's not enough to level. No, but it is like half a level. Yeah. Uh, why don't we leave it there? That's a good episode. Okay. And um, hit the buttons at home i mean as long as we're here while we're saying goodbye i'm gonna check all the pictures we might just tell you what we found yeah we didn't find anything anyway <laughs> uh yeah no no new trend flux uh yeah if you're enjoying the series definitely hit the buttons and we'll see you guys next time take it easy